Hi, I'm Brian with CraftedFlash.com. We're going to boot an Acer Aspire 1 ZG5 netbook from a USB flash drive. The flash drive is a 16GB USB 3.0 drive from CraftedFlash.com. In this video, I will demonstrate two methods. In the first method, we will use the Boot Options menu to select the USB drive for a one-time boot. In the second method, we will set up the computer to always boot from the USB drive when it is connected. The first method is best when borrowing a friend's computer or using a public computer in a hotel or internet cafe. The second method is better for configuring your own computer to boot from a flash drive. To start the first method, we insert the USB drive in any available slot and power on the computer. We will need to press the F12 key several times during the boot up in order to display the boot options menu. From the boot option menu, we select the USB HDD Patriot Memory Entry. Patriot Memory is the hardware manufacturer for this USB drive. As soon as we press enter, the computer begins loading the distro list from the USB drive. Once the distro list is displayed, we can use the arrow keys again to select the software that we wish to boot. This USB drive contains several gaming distros. Now that we have the distro list booted and running, this concludes method one for booting via the one-time boot menu. We can power down now and move on to method two. The second method prepares your computer to always boot from the inserted USB drive. If the USB drive is not inserted, the computer will boot from the internal hard drive as usual. To start method two, we can leave the USB drive attached and power on and use the F2 key to enter the BIOS setup. Now we need to change the boot priority so that the USB drive is preferred over the internal hard drive. This will allow us to boot from the USB drive by simply inserting it in the computer and powering up. First we use the right arrow key to go to the boot screen and then the down arrow key to select USB HDD Patriot Memory. Now we can use F5 to raise the priority for the USB drive. And finally, we press F10 and Enter to save our changes. The computer will immediately begin the boot process, and this time it will automatically boot from the USB drive without using the Boot Options menu. Now we can select a distro from the menu and boot it from the USB drive. We will select the Live.LinuxGamers distro and watch it boot up. Please note that the keys used in this video are specific for this computer. To learn which keys are right for your computer, please visit CraftedFlash.com and refer to our USB Flash Boot Guide. Now we can play any of the games listed at the bottom of the screen. If you have any questions about booting from USB flash drives, 
please visit our forums at craftedflash.com.